Hey, 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 ladies and gentlemen, this is Loomis coming guys with another episode of the Dota 2 Quickie, and you are watching WPC Ace, one of the biggest Chinese tournament ever, and that was their opening ceremony. Team DK on the Radiant side featuring two of the new players, former Orange Mushi, as well as former Zenith Ice Ice Ice, will be now playing for DK. Meanwhile, their opponent is going to be Vichy Gaming Play on the Dire side, ROTK and Super, two original DK members. Going against their old team. A lot of rivalry, a lot of bad bloods perhaps, but this is an amazingly exciting game. Ice 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 doing a very good ROTK impression up top, being a little bit out of position and, well, unfortunately giving up first blood. FY draws it and he is going to be having a huge, huge game. MMY playing the Wisp on the mid lane. Ched away, my friend. He's going to be okay. The bugs are going to get killed off as well. Super coming in, trying to get the last, unfortunately, nice Burrow Strike from Lamb, but Sharpshooter from afar. ROTK Rocket. Gonna seal the deal. Living Armor is gonna allow Super is gonna pick up a second kill. And Vichy Gaming pulled himself up to a 3000 experience lead. RTK is level 5. Ice 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 is level 1. Fearless Burning leading his team into the team fight up top. Unfortunately, Eclipse not too good. RTK Cox forces DK to retreat. Hard to retreat though from 2 2 Sun as he just melts MMY from the right side. Burning gets caught out here. This is gonna be one of his many deaths in this game where he just gets caught out in the beginning of the team fight. He suffered a ton in terms of goal and experience intake. Super on the bot, chases with this team, trying to ride that momentum, but the quick respawn time of DK allows them to teleport back to the top lane, where they actually pick up a ton of kills at the end. Vichy Gaming though still wins a team fight, five to four, but critically for DK, they put themselves back onto the scoreboard. They had zero kills before this, and well, suddenly they will get themselves four kills. 15 minutes in the game, Vichy Gaming doing not too badly. Leading in both experience and gold. But this is going to soon to change as we see a big team fight happen on the bot lane. Burning, not learning from his past mistakes. It's going to be jumping right into the team fight. Great focus from Vichy Gaming, the living legend. Well, he's dead for now. 2 2 trying to run away and he's going to get bursted down. There is just so much AoE barrage, but one comes from FY Stolen Bow. He's just a champion this game, stealing multiple AoE spells. Mushi doing a ton as well, landing multiple Torns, X Torns, X Bolt combo. They're gonna melt super in this team fight. Mushi's dropping low, and well, he'll survive for now as he runs away from the two support. The spells are cooling down from DK supports as well, and they will barrage in for one more kill. Ice Ice Ice, huge stomp, canceling the teleportation from FY, and they do get themselves a double kill. Mushi says yes, and Mushi says no. ROTK picks him off at the end. FY with the stolen bolts gonna initiate for his team on the mid lane. Ice Ice Ice. Again, good RTK impressions all over the place. Just melts in the team fight. And Vichy makes the same mistake as they did on the top. They chase for more. And when you chase for more against a team that has very short cooldown and great AoE, this is what happens. Burning still running into the middle of the team fight like he's afraid of nothing. And well, they get a clean 5 to 1 wipe. A tier 1 tower. A tier 2 tower and a ton of farm after this. DK wrestled himself back. Top lane though pushing without Sentry War and that's going to allow Finroar to walk straight in for a great overgrowth. The relocate epicenter was nice. Unfortunately, it's BKB from 2-2. Two -two. As well as FY stealing an Earth Splitter, they will melt Mushi. Two core drop from DK. Sun up top here from 2-2 two -two, and well, two supports just completely melt. Not too sure where that BKB was completely necessary, but he'll pop it. Better be safe than sorry. The team fight's not over yet. It's gonna be ROTK initiating for the team on the bot side. And the Ice 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 getting caught out once again. This fight, huge deal though. Not only did they kill off three heroes instantly, they'll also proceed into the Roshan pit. Well, they'll get the Aegis for the carry. 2 2 picks up the Aegis and it's go time. Burning gets lifted. He gets torrented. FY, great initiation. Forces out the BKB from Burning. Burning turns around, says, Here comes my Eclipse. Huge damage output alongside that epicenter. Melts just about everybody. 2 2 will respawn with his Aegis Immortal. Burning buys back for this team fight. ROTK gets cogged in the middle by his own cogs. And here comes a huge Earth Splitter that does a ton of AoE damage. But here comes 2 2. He hits faster. He hits harder and Burning dies two times in a row in this team fight. Ice 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 trying to run away from Vichy Gaming, but no cigar. Not against Super, not against 2 2. They bring him down. And Vichy Gaming wins this team fight 5 3, killing Burning twice in a row. 
They're gonna put themselves up by 10,000 gold eventually. Three BKB in this team fight and three BKB in the next team fight as well. They just block all of the AoE damage coming out from DK. Three BKB activation. Look at the Burrow Strike. It will hit three if it weren't for those BKB. Burning says, you got BKB, but I got patience. I'll wait those out and the clips will come after the beams. They were on everybody's faces. Super is going to die under tower as well. And so were the retreating Finrar. FY is the only person that makes it out in this team fight. 4 to 1. Vichy Gaming loses a battle. And well, Burning, he lives through this one. Here comes one of the most bizarre item choices I've ever seen in professional gaming. A second BKB in 35 minute. I recognize you need a lot of magical immunity, but damn. A second one, Super gets initiative on the mid lane. That four stat Burrow Strike is just absolutely beautiful. You're gonna see more of that a little bit later on. Vichy Gaming buys back and says, let's chase for more. It's gonna be a stun on Burning. And look at Lamb's position here. Channel's the epicenter, no Blink Dagger. He just Burrow Strike his way in. Four stat Burning out, so Burning's gonna be fine. Chuchu says, I got a new BKB. Let's go to work, let's right click. But that BKB, it's running out, it's running fast, and guess what? More beams into everybody's faces. Well, they'll force out buyback from Alchemist. They'll get an Aegis on Burning, and Burning, by the way, a ton of damage. You blink, you miss his no blink dagger from DK, but his initiating with the force app. It doesn't matter if Tutu has two BKB if he can't activate either. My goodness, Lamb on this four staff initiation Burrow Strike, absolutely beautiful. Want to see it one more time? Force, Burrow, Super, Chain Stun, dead. And that's going to force a GG foul from VG Gaming. They lose a Rax, and with both the carries dead and out of buyback, DK comes back. This game had five goal lead changes. It's back and forth, back and forth, and VG Gaming, critically, they were ahead throughout most of the game. But at the end, it was just too much lamb, too much Mushi, too much Ice Ice Ice. The three new addition of DK giving them a huge win over Vichy Gaming in a tight game. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Dota 2 Quickie. Huge shout out to Kpoptosis for providing stats for this particular installment of Dota 2 Quickie. If you guys like the stats or if you guys like anything about Dota 2 Quickie, please let me know. I also accept any criticisms that you guys might have. So. Feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, this is Luminous, signing off. GG guys.